What's my mother name? What's up guys, KDub175 back with another Pokemon Duel video and it is 2018 guys. Tia, you hooked us up in 2017, continue to hook us up here in 2018 please and what better way to come back after a long hiatus than whaling awesome boosters guys. We're going to open up these New Year's 10 packs, comes with one chain level, uh, there's quite a few figures that I would not mind getting some chain levels on. Um, definitely want to get some Rush and Zek. I still need the Rush. Um, Deoxys Attack Form, Zapdos, I think those are going to be the main ones that we want to pull on. And basically, guys, for every 1EX, we're getting two. Um, let me see. Yeah, actually, I still need the uh, Mega Charizard X. 
and taking a look at some of these EX figures. Now, Raikou Chains would be pretty good. Resh, definitely want. Zek, I'm cool with. Deoxys Attack Form. Zapdos, I really want to get some chains on Zap. Um, I still have a, a Greninja. Terrakion's pretty meta at the moment, so some chains on him. Uh, don't really use Virizion. Lunala, I already have a chain level 10. Decidueye would be pretty nice. Uh, Decidueye could definitely use some chain levels. Now, every EX pull that we get, guys, it's basically getting two EXs. Rares is like pulling four, and for every uncommon, it's basically like getting 10. So let's go ahead and start this off right, guys. Leave a like. Hopefully these 500 gems are gonna go to good use. We're gonna get a Crawdon. Now, that's, that's a pretty good figure in the Uncommon Hall. Not gonna be used much in the League matches, but, you know, I, it's not a bad figure. And we're gonna get an Horikuryu. <laughs> I don't know why it's just fun to say Horikuryu. Uh, come on, let's see an EX pop up. We got the gold. Boom, all right, let's go. We're getting an EX. And, oh, it's going to be a Mew. Now, guys, there would have been a time that I would have loved to see Mew pop up out of a booster box. But, unfortunately, it's a little bit too late. I had to craft the Mew that I do have. And chain levels aren't going to mean too much uh, aside of maybe an evolved Blaziken. Because not too many people chain level their Jet Kick unless you're Choctopus. Uh, but, to be fair, he did correct that, guys. He put it into the Flare Blitz. But, um... Yeah, I mean, that's going to be good for because most people that have Blaziken are going to be running Combuskin. So, uh, Combuskin is pretty easily evolved, and you're going to have a 30 Jet Kick on that Blaziken. So, you do want to have some chains on Mew, but it was mainly for some mirror matches. And we have an Espeon, and I love Espeon, guys, as a Pokemon, but the figure is pretty bad. I don't think I've ever battled against an Espeon in League, ever. Like, not once. Maybe... Like, not even that much in the uh, room matches. Now, Swellow, guys. Swellow, in my opinion, I think is more viable than Espeon because you have the three-star fly. It has gold, and it can knock out Coco. And we're going to get another EX. Come on, please be something good. It's a Raikou. All right, that's going to be our second Raikou, so that's not too bad. And Chaos had an insane deck with two Raikou, two Coco, Zapdos, and I think the Oracorio Pom Pom style. So I'm, I'm cool with getting another Raikou, guys. Really? But uh, Pancham, Pancham is actually probably the best uncommon that you can pull in this 10 pack. Imagine getting a chain level 10 Pancham. Carmenite at the level 10. Another EX, come on. Let it be a Zap deal. Uh, okay, Terrakion. Terrakion, that's going to be a chain level 2 Terrakion because we have three of them. So we're going to be able to put that into uh, one of our Terrakion. And it's going to be chain level 2 right away. Three EX pulls, nothing really that we wanted like you know that we really wanted but um i mean that's a you know that's like pulling six ex figures for five all right you guys know the drill tia come on you hooked us up you gave us three ex figures we do have a single ticket that i pulled from the daily login so i'm gonna go ahead and try to pull that mega scissor out of this side guys um and i have not forgotten i do know that i owe you guys a video so you can vote on which figure I should craft, but I think it might be smart to wait for the 17th, guys. I didn't plan on taking a break for this long, so um, we will do that. We definitely will. But since we're already so close to the 17th, guys, um, you know, I think we're just gonna wait for the new banner. But we only get a Joltik, so, you know, if you guys do wanna see the Mega Scissor, you know, I'll still craft it. But I think, you know, a lot of us have already seen Mega Scissor showcased and let's be honest, Mega Scissor is not that good. Um, we're just going to start with the gold. Come on, it could be... A, okay, it's going to be an Avalug. Chain levels on Avalug aren't too bad. 120 is a pretty common attack uh, these days with the Solga Leo. And, you know, Lunala. I mean, a lot of people do have chain levels in the Lunala. But not everybody. And it's going to be another EX. Come on, let's see that. Ah, another Raikou. That's going to get us to three Raikou. Um, hmm. I don't know, guys. Three Raikou might be pretty good because they don't get weight. As soon as they leave the PC, you can bring them right out onto the field. Uh, gonna be another rare <laughs> for Uniqueless. Yet another figure that is way too late. Man, do you guys remember the meta with the three Reuniqueless? God, they were so annoying. I really hated the meta at that point. And I could never pull any of them, and I did not want to invest 1800 material for one Reuniqueless because I needed three of them. And then I think I eventually pulled one, but they were just so cancerous, and I really did not want to run them. 
Uh, you know, I never really wanted to run the Cancer decks. We're gonna get a uh, Sneasel. Man, Sneasel was OP in the Flying Gym. And I didn't play the Flying Gym that much. Uh, I only played a few matches, but I remember playing a three Articuno, three Sneasel deck, and I got destroyed. Uh, it's gonna be another rare, wow. Uh, Umbreon, okay. Umbreon's actually, like, uh, honestly, I don't see the point of running Espeon when Umbreon, its ability built in just like the magic coat that uh, Espeon has. It's 3 MP and it has a Toxic. Uh, unless I'm missing something. Because uh, I'd have to look at the Espeon. But I just remember like Espeon being pretty bad. Dredagon, not too bad all things considered for a rare. You know, with the Revenge and the... Uh, I think it has a Dragon Tail as well. It sends him back to the bench and it has the Mold Breaker ability. So, pretty decent matchup for Lunala. Come on, let's get an EX. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's go. There's the rainbow. Come on. Let's see a zap deal. Uh, Greninja. Okay. You know, I have been wanting a Greninja, guys. Like, I feel like I'm the only person that doesn't have a Greninja till now. And I definitely do want to have one for when it gets a plus 20 in the gym. Because those things are just strong. And it's going to have a chain level. Another Drudagon. Uh, oh, man. And that's going to be our last box out of this pack so we get a Raikou and a Greninja you know I'm happy with that guys I really am even though Greninja is not that good anymore like I still wanted a Greninja and you never know like we may get Ashes Greninja which might be like a shiny where it's just its own all right come on Tia hook us up I don't care if you just give us one EX as long as it's like a Resh Zap so you know that's what I really want to see guys Resh Zap DOA I have 12 EX cubes, guys, too, so, but, I, you know, that's why I'm opening these, because I don't really want to waste those EX cubes, and for 500 gems to be able to pull, like, double EX pulls, you know, for it to basically be, like, two figures, you know, because my Zapdos is at a chain level three, so if we can pull one Zap, that would get us to a five, and I think I would pump five EX cubes into uh, Zap, because, uh, in a way, I kind of feel like I'm, you know, missing out, it's going to be another Avalug. Nothing too exciting. Really sad that there's not better rares or uncommons. Um, you know, I don't know, guys. I might be totally wrong about opening these. I, I really might be. But, you know, like, I don't know, 500 for a 10-pack. There's some good EXs that you're guaranteed to get at least one, which is basically two. And ah, another uncommon. You know, and Poly Polyworld was a pretty good pull uh, for an uncommon. Because I think Poliwhirl is still pretty good. Uh, you know, Terrakion's in the meta because of Coco. Lunala is everywhere. Uh, you still see the dragons every once in a while. And I definitely want to try running the dragons. So even if I could pull one Resh, I mean, it's going to be worth it. Uh, because it's still 300 mat or 3,000 materials. Which is like 3,000 gems. So, uh, you know, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Uh, man, this has been a... Pretty bad 10 pack so far, guys. Pretty bad 10 pack so far. Come on. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to be a dud one, guys. We're going to probably get one EX. Just, it just, you can kind of feel it. Come on. All right, it's cool. Come on, let's turn over. There's the rainbow lights. All right, come on. Oh my god, another Mew. I hope this isn't the last one. No, okay, we get one more. Okay, come on. Mew was not guaranteed, guys. Come on, this is going to be our guaranteed. Oh, no. One Mew. It's pretty bad, guys. This was pretty disappointing. I am not going to lie. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and pop this enhancement booster. And I think we are going to open up another 10-pack, guys. I do want to try my luck at one more 10-pack. At least... All right, come on, Tia. You gave us a really horrible 10-pack last time. Come on, guys. Leave a like. Give me some luck. I definitely want to pull a Zap, DOA, or a Rush. I really want the Rush because that's, that's the one I need that I still don't have. But I want to get some chain levels. I want to get some chain levels. Like, there's just... The chain levels are so high at this point. Um, nice! We're starting with an EX. Decidueye, alright, that's a new EX pull, um, 
or not a new pool. That's going to be our second Decidueye, and I really wanted a, a second one. Uh, I was actually talking with SHD. He was kind of running some molting energy ideas by me, and uh, another Pancham, nice. Um, and you know, unfortunately, in his deck build, he had the uh, the impression that grass types would evolve would evolve out of the PC as well, and uh, it's only bug and flying types. So, you know, he was thinking maybe running two Rowlet all the way to Decidueye when I only had one Decidueye. So I have two, so I may be working on a Molting Energy deck. Uh, you know, it could be it could be decent. Could be decent. Running with uh, Mega Sceptile and possibly the, uh, the Deli Bird, you know, for like an unlimited... Ma uh, oh, come on. All right, we get a Glaceon. Battery is dying on us. Hopefully, it doesn't die by the end of, uh, of this pool, and then I can go like plug my phone in. Another Umbreon. Man, these pulls have been pretty bad. Uh, come on, Ho come on, just turn around for us. Ah. Another Espeon. I think that's gonna be like our third third Espeon. Right, come on, Podu. Alright, it's turning over. Come on. Vespaquin. Uh, starting to, I'm starting to get the feels bad, guys. It's starting to be the feel, the feels bad. Another rare, Jesus. No, actually, it was a glitch. Another Raikou, though. Jesus, I've been pulling so many Raikou. I don't need any more Raikou. Give me a Zapdos, please. Um, okay, and we are going to get the Rainbow Lights. Come on. Another Raikou. Holy crap. What is that? Like our our fourth one? I think that's like our fourth one. Jesus. I'm, I'm going to have a I'm gonna have a Raikou that's just insane, guys. But uh, we did get three X pulls, so it, it didn't turn out to be too bad. And we got a lot of rares. So... Like, this, this was actually a pretty good 10-pack. But, yet again, nothing that we really, really wanted, guys. Uh, I don't know. I, like, I don't know. I think I'm going to stop for now. I still have to buy my gem deals, so maybe I'll do that, and we'll open one more. I don't know. All right, guys. I bought the gem deals. Tia, come on. Give us at least the rush. You know, that's really what I want. I want to see some Resh and Zek action. It's going to leave us with 3,200 gems, and I definitely do not want to spend any more. I bought the $40 deal, and then I got the $8 deal and, like, the $4 deal or whatever. You know, I bought the, like, really good deals, you know, the $8 and the $4 one. And then I, I, I didn't do the 80 this time, guys. I got the 40 So we definitely got those fulfillment boosters. Uh, or... Fulfillment boosters, fulfillment rewards, and those loyalty boosters that I am going to be saving for the next banner. Um, okay, here we go. We got another EX. Come on, let's see the zap. No, it's going to be another Greninja. Uh, it's going to put us at two Greninjas. So uh, I don't think I'm going to fuse them. I don't think I'm going to fuse them. I think I'm going to keep two, both of them. Like I was saying before, hopefully, you know, if, the, if we do get Ashes, Greninja, it could be like the shiny version, where it's just a separate figure, but it could be like maybe an evolution, maybe have, like run it like a Mega, uh, but have it so it stays in effect for, you know, for the rest of the duel, or at least until it gets knocked out. I don't know. I don't know how that would work, guys. Uh, it, it probably would just be its own standalone figure. But, uh, I don't know, I would definitely like to see, you know, like a new ability added to Greninja or something. Maybe like the Panjam, where if it spins like two or three times, it doesn't get knocked out. Like, or if it only spins once, it doesn't get knocked out. I don't know. What do you guys think? How would you guys like to see Greninja rebalance so it can come back into the meta? Because at this point, it's just like Tapu Koko. That's like the main runner. And then you have like Panjam. Uh, hey, speak of the devil, another Panjam. I'm cool with that, man. We're going to have a really nice C-level Panjam. I think that's going to get us to like a chain level four. Uh, so it might be worth putting some Carmenite into him. Come on. Come on. Let's see something that we want. Oh, my God. Just another gold. No. No, we get the rush, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. 
All right, so all of these boosters were totally worth it, guys. Because that would have cost me 3,000 materials if I was going to uh, craft it. Nice, and it comes with a chain level, so that's like pulling two fresh. Let's go. Okay, so I'm happy. I'm happy. We finally got something that we wanted. That was the main one that we definitely wanted. Combi, I don't care. Get out of here. We got the rush. I don't even care what we get. Well, I'm not going to lie. I definitely want to see a Zapdos in there. Like, Zapdos more than DOA at this point. Come on. Nice. Okay, come on. Please be something good. Uh, just going to be a Charizard. Please don't let that be our last one. No, okay. That's not our last one. I think this is our last one, guys. Come on. Can we get one more EX? Ah, just gonna stay uncommon. Another combi. You know, I think I'm happy with it, guys. I'm happy with the results. From all the gems that we spent, that one restaurant made it worth it, in my opinion. And we got Ryko chains out the wazoo. We got another Decidueye, which I really wanted. Uh, you know, double Decidueye is pretty good. So, I, I think I'm pretty happy, guys. Uh, you know, we did get three EXs out of this one as well. The Greninja and the Charizard aren't going to be used too much. But, uh, I definitely might be putting together, a, you know, Twin Dragon deck. Screenshot that for the records. And I think that's going to be it for the 10 packs, guys. I'm going to be hanging on to the rest of these gems until the new banner comes. And... Like I said, guys, I know that I owe you guys a video so where you guys can vote on... I mean, I have a ton of materials. I'm almost up to 29,000. But I don't think there's really anything... I mean, we've already seen Mega Scissor. And I really didn't plan on taking it this long of a break. You know, but with all the holidays and everything going on, uh, you know, it just kind of worked out that way. And, you know, it's kind of nice to just unplug from the internet for a little bit. I think we all need to do that every once in a while. Because there's just so much going on all the time. And it's, you know, you feel like you're missing out. You got to keep up with everything. And it gets exhausting. So it's kind of nice to just, just unplug, man. Let everything go. But I'm really excited for the next banner, guys. We'll definitely craft a figure. You guys can vote. Um, you know, I think I'm going to be having some other videos coming out here real soon. So definitely subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you're new. And if you guys haven't already, follow me on Twitter, guys. Uh, there's tons of discussions we can have there. If you don't use Twitter, just leave a comment below. Until the next one, later, guys.